Hey guys, it's your freaking favorite medical channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine just makes perfect sense. I'm so sorry about not posting videos in the previous days. I was on vacation, I buttered the bun, I fried the Oreos, I gained some weight, but I'm gonna lose it back. And I've read five books on that vacation, so that's that. Today we'll talk about thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndromes, two very rare yet ugly diseases, so let's get started. As you know from previous videos, vitamins are vital amines, that's where the name come from, but it's wrong, organic molecules, micronutrient, and essential, which means your body cannot make them, therefore you have to consume them in your diet. We have two types of vitamin, water soluble and fat soluble, and the functions of vitamins were discussed before. Today we'll talk about vitamin B1, which is thiamine, it's a water soluble freaking vitamin. As you might imagine, thiamine is the same as vitamin B1, the source, liver, eggs, cereal, wheat and rice, as long as they are non-refined, also known as whole grain, or they could be refined but fortified. So refined and fortified is okay, non-refined is also okay. And meats and nuts, etc. Wheat and rice are brown or dark yellow. Then in manufacturing, they have a process called refining. Refining basically is the removal of the outer layer of the grain. This will make the wheat into white bread and the rice into white rice. This is tastes great, but it's deficient in thiamine. So therefore, most of the time they fortified or it's called enriched with vitamin B1. If you don't want to do that, eat whole grain food. Now, personally, I eat white rice and white bread as long as they are fortified or enriched, but why should you care? The most common cause of vitamin B1 deficiency worldwide is eating white refined rice. White rice equals berry berry, which is thiamine deficiency. So, the other day I went to Walmart and I got this white loaf of bread. Oh, does that, is that white bread? Yes, it was white before applying the Instagram filter. God help us. But as you see here on the label, it's called enriched, which means they added thiamine to it. They added vitamin B1 to it. Also, that's a great discount, by the way. But the best discount was 30 cents. That's my record. Rest in peace, Sam Walton. Rest in peace. What's the function of vitamin B1? It's a cofactor in biochemical reaction producing ATP, especially the dehydrogenase reactions, including the pyruvate dehydrogenase, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase, transketolase, which is not, it does not have the word dehydrogenase, I get it, and whatever. And we have discussed that, as you know, in the previous video. That's why you should watch this playlist in order. The playlist is called Biochemistry. New. Now let's turn our attention into today's topics. Thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndrome. Syndromes, are they plural? Yes, two freaking ugly disease. The first one is called thiamine responsive megaloblastic anemia. The name has the answer. It's an anemia. What kind of anemia? We have microcytic, normocytic, or macrocytic. Since it's called megaloblastic, it's the macrocytic. The RBCs are big. That's why the MCV is high. What's the normal MCV? Like, for dummies, it's 80 to 100. I know some nerds will say, oh, actually, but it closes at 76 to less. Shut up. 80 to 100 is good enough. Thiamine responsive megaloblastic anemia means it's a megaloblastic anemia that will be cured or treated when you actually give the patient thiamine or vitamin B1. The other ugly disease is called thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndrome type 2. Okay, all right. It's also known as biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease. Now, the name has the answer. It's a disease in your freaking brain. Where exactly? the basal ganglia. And this is responsible to biotin and thiamine. If you give the patient thiamine, which is B1, and biotin, which is vitamin B7, you can actually treat the disease. Please do not forget that vitamin B1 is thiamine, B2 is riboflavin, B3 is freaking niacin, B5 is pantothenic acid or pantothenate, B6 is pyridoxin, B7 is biotin, B9 is folate or folic acid, B12 is cobalamin. 
Before we talk about those two ugly rare diseases, let's talk about normally. Normally, basically, we have two genes. The first one is called SLC19A2 and SLC19A3. Sounds like a chess master game. Ha ha. I mean, not funny. SLCA2 gene encodes for a thiamine transporter. SLC19A3 gene encodes for another thiamine transporter. This was the normal physiology. What is the pathology? The pathology is the first disease called thiamine responsive megaloblastic anemia. You have a mutation in the first gene, SLC19A2, and this will lead to problem with this thiamine transporter, which will lead to these symptoms. Megaloblastic anemia, diabetes mellitus, sensory neuronal, neural deafness. The second disease called thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndrome type 2 also known as biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease. The problem here is in SLC19A3, which will lead to a problem in this thiamine transporter, which will lead to an episodic encephalopathy, usually triggered by febrile illness. What's the treatment for one and or two? Give thiamine, high dose or low dose. I mean, look, look, look here, son. Here is a patient with megaloblastokinine. And here is a patient with basal ganglia disease. Should you go with low dose? or high dose. Of course, since those are severe symptoms, you should go with the high dose. Good job, son. Good job. Use the promo code antibiotic60 to get a 60% discount of my antibiotics course until the end of January. Go to medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button to literally join the tribe. Follow me on all of these platforms and LinkedIn. You can support this channel on Patreon or PayPal. Thank you so, so much for your support. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.